Hi again. We're continuing our discussion of my PDP 1134A repair effort. Our next step is, as I mentioned in the last episode, to check out what the ground signals are doing on the bus with my logic analyzer to see if something is stuck. This involves using the analyzer to watch the bus activity and see if, when the machine comes up, any of the request lines are held active. If the bus grant lines are still held active at the end of the bus, the terminator will halt the machine. Grants are passed from card to card along the bus in PDP 11s. If the signal reaches the terminator at the end of the bus, then something is wrong, because the card that raised the request should have taken the grant back, and the terminator goes, uh oh, this shouldn't be reaching me, stop. So, let's have a look. What we have is my pod, which is this little doohickey here. Uh, which is connected to the logic analyzer through the cable and we'll go zipping and looking at that and we have a bunch of probes now each of these are connected to a line on the unibus we have a ground here obviously we need a reference ground we have a clock line so that we can use it for trapping we have all of our bus, bus ground lines we have BG4 in and out BG5 in and out 6 in and out 7 in and out we really don't need both the ins and the outs. The outs would be enough, but I've got them on there. I'm not taking them off. So We also have just a random little one on its own. This is the address zero, so the least significant bit of the address. This is here um, simply as a control, if you will. If this is triggering, we know that the system is up and running and that I haven't completely cocked up my logic analyzer setup. What are we looking at here? This is the format screen which defines the setup of the logic analyzer. I have two labels added in, the top one here, and I don't think it's very easy to read, so you'll have to have my apologies for that. Um, but this one says BG4-7, so that is the eight bus grant lines, and this one is address zero. We only have pod two set up, uh, so the first eight lines of pod two um, are set to BG4 through 7, which is how we've got it set up, and then the ninth line is, or 0 in this case, uh, since I wired it up backwards, is address 0. So we set it to run, and it'll bitch because the system's not running, so it notices this is still a clock. We fire it up, and we'll have to manually stop the trace, but we can give it a few seconds yet, it's good enough. So, we have our trace. Let's run to the top. So, system comes up. You can see we've got time here in microseconds, nanoseconds, and then it drops down to milliseconds. Everything is one. The logic analyzer um, is unable to tell the difference between a floating and a positive state, or a, um, a one bit and on. So, when the unit first starts up, all of the lines are, of course, floating. Nothing's been initialized, nothing's been brought down. But, as we bring it down, we see this line start getting initialized and we get switched to zero. Until we have all zeros. We'll also note, the address zero line starts flipping. And further down we go, we see the bus grants don't change, they always reset to zero. But, oops, my apologies, the address lines flip back and forth. So, I think we're doing this right. Um, my understanding is, or says, that this makes sense. It should start as one, this should be a floating state, get flicks to zero as the system comes up and initializes the lines. And the address zero should be bouncing back and forth as, obviously, uh, the bus master is accessing, presumably, memory or other devices on the bus doesn't help as much. It means that the bus grant lines are doing precisely what they're supposed to. I decided that I would go one step further. Uh, previously we tracked just the grant and request lines and now we're going to track everything. So I have hooked up all of my pods except for my timing pod to the unibus pins. I did away with the little grabbers as you can see because I realized 
duh, that you can just thread the wires straight onto the pins at the bottom of the inner bus, since they just thread onto the pins in the crabbers anyway. So, 56 lines later, I have every single signal line that is of any use, and punched it into our logic analyzer here. I have separated it into six different sections. Let's hit the trace here. We have address, which is set as octal. I know you can't read that, but it really does say octal. Data, again octal. PDP-11s are all octal machines. I have the control section, which is binary. Arbitration, it's request, arbitration, grant. And the initialization section. If I go get my little, little piece of paper here, we have in the control section, control line 0 and 1, this? bus busy, master sync, slave sync, interrupt, signal act, and then the two parity lines. In arbitration request, we have uh, non process request, bus request 7654, grant, same thing. And then the init, we have the DC low line, the AC low line, and then the init line itself. So if we run a trace, and I have it set up so as soon as the thing comes up it starts tracing, my logic analyzer will grab uh, 1024 states. So we fire it up. And apparently we're already starting in the middle. So let's go back to the top. So all of this mess is the system coming on, uh, the lines floating. I'm not sure why it's flipping back and forth. I haven't seen it do this one before, but I'm going to assume that's just a logic analyzer hiccup. But, important, we have our AC, DC, and init lights on. Or uh, signals, of course. Down, 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 down. The first signal to show off, or to go off, sorry, should be the DC low signal, there. Next, we should have AC low drop off, there. And now the init signal stays on for 10 milliseconds. You'll also notice that in this column we have the address 773000. This is set on the bus lines by the bootstrap card, uh, which should be for the serial card. Uh, address that would allow me to uh, bring up the terminal in theory and uh, you know talk to it from there but it doesn't work because we're halting but wait for it ta-da we see we have init drop this is normal and it should come off and this is where the processor should really take off but we have our address line gets cleared and we have this. This gets turned on. This is signal act. When signal act comes on, this uh, tells the arbitrator and the processor to back off. It means that um, usually uh, it should come on when a uh, bus master has done its course. Device asserts signal act to acknowledge that it has accepted a grant. The arbitrator is disabled while signal act is asserted. The negation of signal act by a master signifies that it has almost finished transferring data and this allows the start of a new priority arbitration signal. So the question is, why is the signal act coming on? Because, as we can see from our arbitration lines, no bus master has been chosen. Signal act never comes off. It is on, it stays on. This, I think, is why it's halting. What I've got to work at is what is asserting the signal act. And, well, hopefully we can work that one out. I'm pretty sure it's not normal. I'm pretty sure. Uh, when I go through the Unibus manual, it shows that the init comes off and the system should be up. Nothing should be grabbing signal act this early. Certainly not without doing some kind of arbitration, which, as you can see, nothing's trying to grab arbitration here. In fact, while in it is on, the arbitrator should be turned off, and nothing should be able to do a request anyway. But, I guess the next step is, is to work out which of the cards is doing it. 
I have traded out my line time clock card and my bootstrap card and neither of them seems to make a difference so I guess it's not that. The only things left is the memory card which shouldn't be able to do this because the signal, uh, sorry, the memory card cannot be bus mastered by definition. Uh, so I don't think it has the capability of uh, asserting signal lack. Unfortunately all that leaves is the processor boards and that would be bad because if my processor boards are funny well, uh, that'll bring about a whole new level of trying to work out what the hell's going on.